hey, 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 what the heck? What the heck? Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, Sipo, on top of the desk, let me tell everyone your marks. Okay, you. Sipo, Shabalal. Four over 100. And you are busy dancing on top of my desk. Make sure you concentrate because of you are moving to protein synthesis. Okay. What is a protein synthesis? A protein synthesis, it is the creation or a formation of a protein. Synthesis simply means creating or forming anything. All right, there are two steps to protein synthesis. There is the transcription and the translation. The transcription occurs inside a nucleus. Why inside a nucleus? Because of a nucleus contains a DNA molecule. And a DNA molecule contains protein genes so the process of transcription is to copy the genes found from the dna out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm that is the process of transcription all right how does it begin it begins when an rna polymerase unzip the dna molecule at a specific location where there are protein genes or maybe we could say where there are nucleotides which code for protein genes so once it has unzipped that specific location the rna polymerase will collect nucleotide and place them according to the dna molecule which will be acting as a template once it has been unzipped right so it will act as a template to create a strand which we call mrna this strand is called the messenger rna which is very responsible in taking that information out of the DNA into the cytoplasm. You might ask yourself, Semnumzan, why doesn't the DNA just take the information on its own out into the cytoplasm? Why? Because of the DNA, it is too big to exit through the nuclear pores, so it has to create a single strand, that single strand which is called an mRNA, the messenger RNA, which will be able to exit through the nuclear pores into the cytoplasm right and remember this mrna strand can never have a thermine it can only have a uracil so once this mrna has been created from the template which has been unzipped by the dna polymerase it will exit the nucleus and into the cytoplasm and that is when we start our process of translation Yes, the process of translation, it is whereby this mRNA, which has copied the protein genes from the DNA molecule, attached itself to what we call a ribosome, also known as a protein-making machine. It explains itself. The ribosome, it is responsible in attracting what we call tRNAs. Yes, tRNAs. What are tRNAs? tRNAs are also known as transfer RNAs. They are very much responsible in collecting what we call amino acids. Amino acids. Amino acids are building blocks or monomers of proteins. All right. So how does a tRNA know which specific amino acid to collect at that time? It knows because of the mRNA in the translation process uses three nitrogenous bases at the time, which are also known as codons, which will attract their complementary bases, which we call anti-codons found on a tRNA, meaning an mRNA consists of codons while the tRNA consists of anti-codons. So once the tRNA with complementary anticodons have found the amino acid, it will move towards the ribosome and it will attach itself towards their complementary bases. Remember, both tRNA and mRNA consist of the uracil and never a thermine, right? Once the anticodons found on that tRNA attaches themselves to their complementary codons. They will obviously leave the amino acid on top. Then the second tRNA will be attracted, which will obviously leave another amino acid. After the second amino acid have been left, this will be created 
and this is a bond which is called a peptide bond which will be responsible in connecting the amino acids which will be collected as the process continues then it will look like this it will have like this a chain of amino acids joined by the peptide bonds right and that chain will fold to create a protein and that is how a protein is created okay let's recap we said protein synthesis consists of two steps the transcription and the translation the transcription it is whereby the information of the protein gene it is collected from the dna molecule and the translation it is whereby that information it is used to collect amino acids which will form a chain that will make a protein all right then we are done hey, hey, hey. and remember like my video and please subscribe to my channel so that we could grow together let's move to what i call meiosis okay